since I was just talking about your channel and your videos and all that, I want to, I've got a clip. You just did a video about air filtration. And I think that's kind of a, it, it's kind of a cool subject just for the fact that when you're talking about bug out bags or, or, or even just j prepping in general, it, you don't hear a lot about, you know, air safety and air filtration and um, all, you know, we talk about nuclear bombs all the time and, and everybody just thinks, you know, gas mask, but there are a lot of different levels to that. Uh, and you, uh, you did a, You just did a video, right? Where you went through basically uh, the, like the not the. I don't want to necessarily say the smallest, but the the most convenient to you know the high end, right? Yeah, correct. Um, I've got this video. This is just a clip of of what you uh, you were talking about one of them yesterday, and I believe this is the GVS something 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 mask <laughs> six zero go ahead yeah uh, I'll, I'll play this real quick next up is the gvs spr 660 ellipse integral low profile mask with goggles this uh this is this actually is going to be the replacement for the uh my breathe buddy respirator that i just showed you this mask runs about $58 on Amazon. Uh, it uses the same PD100 technology. It's lightweight. Uh, it's going to protect your eyes. It's going to protect your nose, your mouth, and your airways. It is not a full face respirator. Now this mask uses what's called the OVP P100 filters, which are strong protection for universal gases, nanoparticles, organic vapors, and 99.7% of the particulates down to 0.3 microns, which basically means if the train wrecks near your house, you put this on, you can escape, and you won't have any brain damage. <laughs> uh, and of course, that's a joke. The, what I really like about this mask is it does offer eye protection. It is just a little heavier than the Breathe Buddy, but it has these protective covers over the filters that you can literally pop on and off. You pop this sucker on your face, you pull that out. Uh, you probably can see it down inside here. You can pop those out right there, and uh, they're going to basically protect the filter from uh, any damage, any dust building up, anything like that before any use. All right, so when it when it comes to all of those filters, and you you must have like a display case for all 500 different types <laughs> of, of, of face masks and filters you have? <laughs> no, no, I actually have more packs than I have gas masks. Oh, uh, do but, you? <laughs> but that's another story, that's another story. Yeah, so, well, I mean, it's it's, everybody wants to be completely protected. But the problem is, is that a, a true military grade field protective mask is extremely expensive. You know, even if you got like, uh, you know, like we were talking before, before we started this, you know, the mirror safety, uh, they mm -hmm. make they're, they're top of the line. They make the best ones on the market. They, they're if you bought a gas mask um, for the Ukrainian army, they're they're the ones making them for them. Um, so that's where you're going to find those. You're going to be talking about, uh, you know, basically NBC, NBC 77 level protection, you know, both, you know, everything from particle to gas. Uh, I mean, nanotech, I mean, everything is going to get filtered out in those big ass 40, 40 millimeter filters. Um, and uh, that's, that's the military size. Uh, so, you know, everybody wants to have that level of protection, but that sometimes they don't understand that they, they just don't need that level of protection because that yeah. is desi that's designed to filter out nerve agents, uh, blood blister, um, it, everything down to th the smallest particle possible. And even then, they don't understand that that if you, God forbid, were ever in that environment and uh, you just happen to get a suit on fast enough and you just happen to get a mask on fast enough, that that you're going to um, you're you're going to uh, only have that protection for as long as that filter will last. And depending on the agent, you know what I'm saying? And, and then it goes, then you go down to the rabbit hole with how many filters do you have and can you get out of there long? You know what I'm saying? You're pretty much gone Yeah, you know, yeah. At, at that level. But when we start talking about the things that are in our environment today, uh, like, uh, you know, the threat of nucle nuclear, a, a nuclear fallout, okay, a radioactive fallout. Then you're then you're basically going to be looking at about 15 minutes to get everything right, unless you're in the blast zone, unless you were directly uh, uh, irradiated. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you have about 15 minutes to get get yourself where you need to be to get underneath a roof, because at that point you're actually protected from the radiation once you get under a roof. So having this giant mask 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's it's kind of overkill for our environment. Uh, the other thing, the other thing that's in our environment today is, uh, you know, like I, I jokingly said, the trains that are falling off the tracks. We we all know about the the, the one that happened, and and uh, you know, they were lots of mistakes were made, and that that little town is probably gone forever. It's just no one's actually saying it yet. But the reality is, is that people br- breathed those vapors. You know, uh, those were natural vapors that could have easily been kept from taking into your body through through your your respiratory system with a simple p100 level filter uh and that's that's what most of the masks that that you saw in that video are so you know i think i think it's important to add that that i've just recently added that uh to my bug out bag because it's important you don't know where you're going to be and it, it should be to you should you should be preparing for the threat that is possible uh, is is or should I say that's more realistic or probable? Uh, you know, is it probable that we're going to get hit with a with a uh, you know a nerve agent attack in the middle of America? Yeah, that's not likely. So we don't really need that giant mask. Is is yeah. basically what I'm saying. Yeah. And there's lots of masks on the on the market that that will are they're they're super expensive or super uh, less expensive, and they will do the job. And they're actually easier to change the filter out and carry more filters than having a full up mask. All right, I'm, 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 I'll shut up. <laughs> well, it, it, kind of on that, in the, the last mask that you talked about in that video, and that link to that video is below too, uh, but the last one you talked about will fit one of those 40 millimeter uh, canisters, but as well, it, it will also fit something, uh, a, a different canister as well, right? And that is pretty affordable, correct? Oh, yeah, actually, I think that I either paid 25 or $35 for that mask. I just stumbled across it. I was like, wait a minute. And, you know, you start reading all the little the capabilities that are on on the uh, the old wish list on, there on Amazon. And it's like, wait a minute, this thing could take both of what? Yeah. So that thing could literally take all the filters that were on all of the masks that I showed in that video. It could use it could use them if it wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. It's very cool. It is a really cool video. Uh, real quick in the chat, uh, Highlander was talking about design, design masks for dogs. You'd make a killing. Pardon my pun. Uh, I'd buy five of them right there or, or right now. Yeah. 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 Well, they that do would be interesting. <laughs> masks for dogs. Oh, they do. They do. They're expensive okay. and they're, they're, they're at the, on the military level, but they do make masks for dogs. See, like doomsday dog with the big, <laughs> big mask just, on. It's, it's just like a, it's like a goggle. You may have seen some pictures uh, for special forces jump dogs. They actually have goggles that they wear when they jump yeah. out of the planes with the dogs. What well, looks just like that, but that actually has a mask that goes over. It almost looks like a very large, um, uh, uh, what do they call it? Uh, the anti-bite device they put on their ma- muzzle. Uh, muzzle. It's like a large muzzle, but they do make them. Yeah. Yeah. That's hilarious. Um, one last thing, uh, what, what I, I kind of thought about when I was uh, watching this video too, is something that I use all the time and it's not really in the same category, but this mask right here, it's called an RZ mask. Um, this is something I use when I'm out cleaning out the chicken coop, Mm -hmm. when I'm out moving horse crap with my tractor and it's windy day, (laughs) uh, this, this type of mask, it lays flat. You could fit it in your bug out bag. It, it filters, I believe they're trying to get NOIAS or whatever that agency is, certification where they're basically certified a little bit better than the N95 mask. Where N95s, I think it, they filter down to 0.3 microns, mm-hmm. and these ones will actually go down to 0. 0.1. So yeah. these, and uh, let me scroll down and you can see the filter, how the filters are made up. Not not the same thing. So don't don't get me wrong, everyone. It's not the same as a full full blown gas mask, but um, it's got the activated carbon cotton liner, whatever filtration media means. I don't know that that could mean a hundred different things, uh, and a soft inner liner. So uh, these are like fifteen bucks, and the the extra the extra filters in there are like eight bucks. So they're just really affordable and convenient. And like you were talking about when you're the other ones are sort of overkill as far as what preppers might need them for. But if you're in a bug out situation, maybe a, a wildfire, something like that, mm-hmm. one a, a mask like this would work. Even the respirator would work better. Uh, but yeah. you you don't need that three hundred dollar mask, is what I'm saying. But yeah, exactly. Just, just kind of know what you're you know know what you what you need it for. Yeah, and and you know I hate to say this, but it's like as 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 guys we we kind of screw up sometimes and we don't read the instructions. 
And some people buy masks and they don't realize that they don't filter smoke. There's a lot of masks that don't filter smoke. So you actually have to read that and find out what the rating is and see if you're buying this, something that's actually going to accomplish the task that you needed to accomplish. Yeah. And that very well could be the case with the RZ mask. And I am one of those guys. If it is, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need these instructions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it, it, it just is a, a, you know, one of those convenient cheap masks, but it is not the same thing. So if you are looking at something, uh, you know, for larger scale things, but at the same time, like you were talking about those full blown military style masks, they're, you know, it'd be cool to have. I mean, I'm I'm going to get one and do a review on it and show what it can do and all that stuff. But uh, the the opportunities for you to actually use that in, in a normal civilian style life here in the United States, even as bad as we think things are, uh, are pretty far and few between. Oh, but yeah. You, you never know. So, I mean, if you've if you've if you want to and you got the money, <laughs> do what you need to do. You know, yeah. might as well go big. <laughs> 